Hey everybody, just a quick update video today. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of those lately, but it feels like my life's been full of updates. Um, it's the beginning of April, so it's the end of the first quarter of 2017, and I wanted to kind of check in on where I'm at on, on the goals that I put out in one of these videos. Uh, card up in the corner. God, one of these days I'm figure out where that card shows up. I, I think it's this corner. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll throw a card up there to that video. Um, because I, I had some pretty realistic goals and um, I just kind of want to check in. I actually had to watch the video uh, today to see where I was at on those goals because I wasn't real sure myself where I was at. Um, so the first goal that was on the list was to block Medicaid block grants, to stop Congress um, and the Trump administration from implementing Medicaid block grants, which would mean I can't do any of this. It would mean I don't get in and out of bed. Um, it, would, it would be devastating for my life. So. Um, that, that one's a win. Um, block grants are all but off the table. Um, they're talking about something called per capita caps now. We're still fighting that battle. Um, and it actually made me feel a little bit better to look at that video and realize that, that I recognized at the beginning of this year that I was going to devote a lot of time to that. Because a lot of my time in 2017 has been involved in um, advocacy. Uh, I actually am kind of taking a little step back right now, taking a breather, trying to spend some time out here, out here in the shop building stuff. That's, that was the goal. That's what I want to do. Um, so on the shop side, um, not profitable yet, um, which I, I didn't expect to be. I really didn't figure by this point in the year I'd, I'd be turning a profit. Still just putting everything right back into the business as it comes in. Uh, recently sold the injection molding machine. Um, it's still actually sitting in the corner. We gotta get it on a pallet and get it shipped to Canada here in the next week. Um, gonna use that money to upgrade uh, the 3D printer. Um, the, the chargers have evolved a little bit and it, we're doing real good on those. And a 3D printer took a crap on me. Um, it started printing really, really terribly, and I tweaked every setting I could. It was just getting worse. Uh, I realized the extruder was going bad, so I bought a new extruder. And long story short, I'm basically rebuilding the entire 3D printer. Um, the good news there, the bad news is it's going to be offline for a few weeks. The good news is it's going to be better than ever. Um, so the print should be a better quality than they've ever been, which um, will make the chargers that much nicer. Um, Got the new knobs um, almost on the website. I'm having a little challenge getting cooling on the dynamite lathe. Um, it's been a little bit of a struggle. I, I either have way too much oil and cooling going or not enough. And so I'm working on a setup now that I'm hoping fixes that. But um, I'll shoot a video once that, that lays up and running. Um, that's, that's the beast right here, the, the dynamite 3000. Um, once that's up and running again and I'm making knobs, I'll shoot a video showing like what I ended up deciding on a coolant um, system and, and why what I was trying wasn't working. Um, so those are still the two main products. Um, we do have the sticks up on the website, don't sell a lot of those. Uh, the bags don't sell a lot of those, but I have some made, people want them. Um, they're really useful for those who get them. But um, not a lot of people seem to understand why. So not a big deal. Um, I'm fine with the other two products, kind of sell a lot better. Uh, a lot of people really still love the chargers, so we'll, we'll keep pumping those out. Um, still working on a few other projects that I hope to introduce later this year. Um, project Skid Mark, again, the tag up above, um, the Skid Steer project. It's, it's, it's coming along. Um, it, it's sitting on wheels. It's uh, the motor's kind of dangling over where it's going to go. Um, hopefully, the next couple weeks, we get back on that. Um, my buddy Corey from Insane Fab, I'm going to get him to come down and help me. Uh, well on some some of the more the roll hoops and motor mounts and um, you know get that thing ready to ready to start plumbing up and uh, figuring out where all the controls go getting the floor mounted there's still a lot of work to be done but uh, that project's coming along and I don't know where that one's going to go um, I, I really like the idea I think there's a handful of other people in the country that do too I don't see that being a big business um, but. But I can see building a few of those a year for people. So um, once that's done, we'll, we'll shoot some videos of that in action for sure. And uh, if nothing else, I need to move some dirt in the backyard. So I'll have a nice machine to move a little bit of dirt. Um, other projects, um, so we're going to something I call the Cripple Cooler. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I don't know if that's ever going to come out. But um, overheating in the summer is an issue for me and a lot of people I know. So I've been working on device for a few years uh, to help with that. That doesn't just kill the battery in the chair. Um, I uh, got an idea in my head for, for uh, a robotic arm. So I, I talked about wanting to learn Arduino and, and electronics in my uh, January video goals for this year. And, and I haven't done very well on that. I have not spent a lot of time learning the Arduino um, and learning microcontrollers and electronics. Um, so I'm, I'm going to put more time to that. I, I've had a lot of thoughts in my head, 
So I need to actually just sit down at the bench with an Arduino, with some motors. I actually just ordered some stepper motors and stuff to try controlling. I, I need to just sit down and do that. And I think if I do, I'll, I'll get some, some projects rolling on that by the end of the year. Um, I, hopefully it's something where I can like sell the hardware and you know, folks at home can assemble them into a kit or something and, and make some cool stuff. Um, they'll be they'll be useful. So overall, I, I feel good about where we're at in 2017. I think that you know it's it's going to continue to be a, an uphill climb, but I think it's going to be a good year. Um, I, I think that I think I hope I'm being optimistic that uh, my advocacy efforts can kind of slow down a little bit. Um, that things in Washington have slowed down to a more reasonable pace and that I can spend most of my time out in the shop. I got to spend five days in the shop last week. I think I'm gonna spend all five in the shop again this week, which is, which is awesome. It's awesome, um, especially because I've got a couple of machines that I'm, I'm struggling to get back up and going. Um, and it's part of not being out in the shop every day. When you're not out here every day, things sit, things you forget that you didn't shut something down right, you forget that you didn't change the coolant, that you didn't add this, you didn't fix this, that you had this struggle last time. When you're out here using this stuff all the time, you, you know where it's at, you know what's happening. And, and I, I don't know, I, I just found I'm using it all the time. I'm able to make repairs and upgrades and, and tweaks as I go, rather than realizing, oh man, I've got to shut this down. I got to order parts, I got to figure out what I need. And then I spend two weeks fixing it because I'm, you know, just, just ordering more stuff, waiting for that to come in, machining more parts, waiting for the, you know, more parts to come in. It's just, it's an ongoing process. I think if I'm out here all the time, I'll just keep things going and, and make tweaks as, as needed slowly. So um, thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for continue, continuing to watch the videos. Thanks for those who continue to buy products from us. Um, 2017 continues to be a good year and uh, we expect good things by the end of the year. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, keep watching. Thanks.